But joining us now is the South African Jewish Board of Deputies spokesperson, Zev Kringler. Zev, welcome to uh, SABC News. Well, one of the things that um, we weren't able to show there is that um, so Lindsay Mavavi has actually called for the uh, what total withdrawal of uh, even staff, um, so to say, the ambassador uh, must not go back. Um, South Africa must cut ties with Israel. So, you know, what, uh, what's wonderful about Vavi is his inconsistency. He hasn't asked to call back the ambassador of Syria, 500,000 dead, three chemical attacks. Yemen, the Saudi Arabians bombed discriminately, 5,000 dead, never called for that ambassador to come back. Uh, when there were streets on the tanks in Harare during the coup, which ended very peacefully, we didn't call for that ambassador to come back. What did President Zuma do? He sent envoys to sort out the problem, and it, we actually we, we did good. So, you know, every time there was um, conflict somewhere in the world, if we called our ambassadors back, well, then I could support this, but I don't think we'd have too many ambassadors in Africa or in the Middle East. So uh, it's just very disappointing for me as a South African that every other country gets treated one way, and then they want to treat the Jewish states another way. And unfortunately for us as South Africans, the Jewish community, that disturbs us because we want to see a consistency. If we don't see a consistency, then we feel that there's a discrimination towards the Jewish state. But does South Africa have a role to play in this conflict? So, very good question. Um, now they have no role. As long as they have a recalled ambassador and they have no envoys, they have no role. And as I said, this conflict will be sorted out. It really will. I personally feel it's closer than everyone thinks. Uh, I think uh, President Trump, whether you like him or you dislike him, he's got something up his sleeve. Um, and there will be a peace uh, agreement signed by the Israelis and the Palestinians. Us as South Africans have to decide whether we part of the solution or part of the problem. And will there be a seat for a South African? And it's going to be on the White House lawns, most probably the Rose Garden, who the President of America will be, who the President of uh, or Prime Minister of Israel will be, I can't tell you. But the, currently how South Africa is behaving, we are cutting ourselves out of the conflict. We are cutting ourselves out of the ability to create that Palestinian state living side by side with the Jewish state, which we support as a Jewish community. We support the right of the Palestinians to self-determination and for them to have a Palestinian state. But it has to be with end of conflict and it has to be with the recognition of a Jewish state as their neighbour. And then you can do the deal quite quickly. But it also must be at, um, uh, without uh, the incursion of Israel into Palestinian territories. So absolutely. So that was always what they said. They said the problem was there were Jews in Gaza. That was the problem. So what did they do? Uh, Prime Minister Sharon in 2006 did exactly what the Palestinians asked him. And he took out every Jew out of Gaza, every civilian, every army post, everything. He did what they wanted. What was Yerenrach? It was the same as what the Nazis wanted in Germany. No Jews. There's no Jews in Gaza. Nothing. The, the settlements wanted to stay there. They said, we'll live under Palestinian rules. They said, no, you must get out. They were absolutely kicked out. There's no more Jews left in any other Arab country in the Middle East, from Syria to Jordan to thing. There's a slither of land that the Jews have, and that protects them from being, um, from, from being unfortunately, the potential of being annihilated by its neighbours or by international anti-Semitism. So they have got that. And I'm saying that, for me, was just a little disturbing that the South African government is calling for the full withdrawal of Israelis from Gaza. They're not in Gaza. When Gaza happens, that's 2006. 2007, the Hamas do an illegal coup on their Fatah, because um, they won the parliamentary, but not the president. And then President Mahmoud Abbas, if it wasn't for the Israelis, would have been killed or imprisoned. He had to get out of Gaza, and then he's in the, in the West Bank. So they got what they wanted. Then they chose it to be a terrorist state, to send rocket fire over. Mm -hmm. Then the Israelis defended that with the Iron Dome. And then they did their attack tunnels, which the Israelis have now got technology to stop. So now they're using their people as cannon fodder to try and go across the border. And I mean, the sad thing for me, while we were recalling the ambassador, Egypt, which is also in Africa, decided to engage and convince the Hamas regime to move the protests back, not try and invade. And the killing stopped the next day. So, I mean, thank, as, a, as an African, uh, Africa did its role. Egypt did its role. But we're we, we going to be on the wrong side of history on this conflict. How are you affected as a South African Jew by the recall of the ambassador? So the, the, the biggest effect we have is the spark of anti-Semitism. I mean, the, the ANC, the, the ANC um, uh, statement was just horrific. I mean, it basically said, if we don't condemn Israel, then we're not welcome in our own country in South Africa. The levels of anti-Semitism goes up. 
uncomfortable feel needs. And as I said to the, 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 the minister, you know, don't make me choose between my mother and my father. I am a proud South African. Most of South African Jerry comes from Lithuania from the 1800s. And we're very proud of our South African heritage. But we will always have a connection to our biblical homeland. We will always have a connection. Uh, you know, every single Muslim will always have a connection to Mecca and Medina. And he'll always do his Hajj. And that's part of his life. And the same as with us. We will always have a connection to Jerusalem, which is our holiest place. That's our biblical homeland. So don't, don't threaten to... Um, make me choose. Yeah, unfortunately, my mother and my father are fighting at the moment, and, it make, and we, the kids, who get caught in the middle. So it's very upsetting. Um, hopefully, hopefully, President uh, Ramaphosa and the minister will do what the ANC always does, what the southern government always does, and just keeps engaging, whether it's southern Sudan, whether it's Burundi, whether it's Ireland, Sri Lanka, that's what we do. Somehow in this conflict, we don't do it. What will happen if the embassy is eventually downgraded. What are the effects? Why should we be worried? So we don't know what the effects are, but there could be massive, there could be massive um, dominoes effects. First of all, Israel really, in their world, South Africa means nothing. You know, just to understand, Prime Minister's last six weeks, he met with Putin, he was his guest of honor day at Victory Parade in Moscow. You can see the pictures, the only, the, he was the guest of honor. Then, of course, we know he's very close to President Trump. Then he gets hosted by Modi, the uh, Prime Minister of India. China's all over. The, the head of Alibaba's investing. Everyone wants Israel. Everyone understands the importance of Israel. We are the tip of South Africa bankrupt. We, we're trying to just stop another rating downgrade. And Israel's flying. That economy's flying. So do, as Israel, no, uh, it's affected them. No, it doesn't really affect them. Do we, a South African jury, absolutely. Do we, as South Africa, we just lose our role to play. And then I think the biggest thing is, if they really want to cut ties, Israel then, I'm, I'm sure, will cut their ties. And then the Christian community battles to get to its holy site as well, which is Jerusalem. South Africa. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you very much for your time. Thank you. Well, that was Zaf uh, Kringla there, the spokesperson of the South African Jewish Board of Deputies. But uh, for now, we're going to take a quick break. When we return, we'll continue with our news. Please don't go away. <laughs>